Ever wondered how critical command and control, or C2, is in the realm of cybersecurity? Well, it's the lifeblood of many cyber attacks. C2 is the secret sauce that hackers use to control and manage their malicious software within a victim's network. It's like the puppeteer pulling the strings behind the scenes, orchestrating the movements of a malicious code. This complex mechanism is what makes cyber threats so potent and difficult to tackle. So, without further ado, let's delve into the intriguing world of C2 and cybersecurity. Command and Control, commonly abbreviated as C2, is a technology that cyber criminals use to maintain communication with compromised systems. Diving deeper into the concept, C2 servers, the nerve center of such operations, communicate with compromised systems, forming a digital bridge of sorts. This bridge enables malevolent actors to transmit instructions, extract data, or even install additional malicious software. It's somewhat akin to a criminal having a secret doorway into your digital world, allowing them to manipulate your systems from the inside out. Now, the role of C2 in malware attacks is crucial. Picture this. Malware on a compromised system is like a spy in enemy territory. It needs a reliable way to send intel back to its base, and that's where C2 steps in. The malware communicates with the C2 server, sending vital information back to the cyber criminals, while also receiving further instructions. But how is this communication achieved? Well, there are different types of C2 communication methods. One is direct communication, where the compromised system and the C2 server communicate directly. This is the most straightforward method, but also the easiest to trace. Then we have indirect communication, where the communication is routed through multiple nodes, making it harder to detect. It's like sending a letter through multiple post offices to hide the sender's location. In essence, C2 is the hidden puppet master in the shadowy world of cybercrime. Now that we understand the concept of C2, it's crucial to remember some key points. First off, the stealth nature of C2. These systems operate in the shadows, undetected, making them incredibly effective tools for cybercriminals. They can infiltrate, extract data, or even take control without raising alarms. That's why detecting C2 communications is such an essential part of cybersecurity defenses. Early detection can literally mean the difference between a minor hiccup and a full-blown catastrophe. But it's not just about spotting them. Understanding how they work is equally important. This knowledge helps in developing more robust reactive defense mechanisms. And finally, Remember that C2 techniques are constantly evolving. Cybercriminals are always on the lookout for new vulnerabilities to exploit. They're innovative and adaptive. So we too must be vigilant and ready to adapt. We must continually learn, evolve, and innovate. Remember, understanding C2 is a vital part of staying one step ahead in the ever-evolving field of cybersecurity.